Hey everyone, it's Lainey. Welcome back and welcome if you're new to another collaboration video with Rachel from Daily Creations. For this project, we are doing a Christmas in July and we both sent each other iron on Christmas vinyl. So for mine, she sent me a variety pack of this Christmas iron on here and if I can find it, I'll link it down below. But it came with a few. I really like this one. I think this one's super cute and fun because it's got Santas with different faces and stuff. And then we've got this more modern with the gray hollies and let's see, snowflakes. And I really like this deer pattern here. And then another snowflake. I also really liked the gingerbread and the, um, what are they called? I'm just having a brain fart. The peppermint, the peppermints. I, I can't remember what they're called, but um, it's the peppermint candy. And then lastly, this is the last one here. And this just screams winner to me. But for this project today, I thought that we would use this one here. So it's got the, uh, the candy canes, the candy canes, um, the stockings, and it's different Santas. All right, so we have the iron on we're gonna use. I also have this door hanger here from Hobby Lobby. It was $1.19. It is a bit warped from how I've been storing it lately. I didn't realize it was bent, but it will suffice. I also pulled from some of my um, crafts that I have. I've got these wooden letters from Walmart, and then I recently found these felt red letters from Dollar Tree. And the red is pretty spot on but we'll just see, we'll just see where this goes. So first thing, I'm gonna turn on my mini press and I'm turning it to medium heat, which is two lines. And the HTV Ron recently sent this to me to review and I really liked it. Um, I've liked it so far, so I thought that it would be a good test to use it for iron-on on wood. All right. So it's got that carrier sheet. Let me remove the back tag here. Goodness, that was sticky. So super simple craft, but just a cute and creative way to personalize a door hanger for this coming Christmas season. So basically I just want to position the iron on in the direction that I want. Um, I think we'll do it here. And let me go ahead and just cut down some of the excess before we apply heat. Alrighty. And this little thing, the mini press, heats up super, super fast. Okay, so let's make sure this is aligned perfectly because this is a tight, kind of a tight fit here, but I wanted to position the iron on in this direction based on the Santas. So I'm just gonna come in, it's kind of starting at the bottom. And applying firm pressure as always and constant movement. And now that I feel that that is pretty secured and beginning to iron on, I can move to the other half and I don't necessarily have to worry about things sliding because it's beginning to adhere to that wood. Okay, just gonna go over it a little bit more and making sure that I'm really pressing down on the edge to make sure that that is really ironed down. Okay, I'm gonna keep my mini press on and turn it over, and this will help it cool down, but I also need to cut off some of the excess. So I'm just taking my True Control knife, and I cut directly on my glass mat because it just glides effortlessly. It does wear down your blade a bit more, 
and it does kind of scratch my glass mat, but that is just the way that I like to, you know, work on these projects. Alrighty. And remember, you know, it still has that carrier sheet on it. So it is a little thicker of a material to cut through. But I wanted to leave it on and trim off the excess because if I need to add more heat, I already have that carrier sheet on. But you could definitely do it, you know, either way. You could let it cool down, remove the carrier sheet, and then turn it over and cut. And then just place the carrier sheet back on. You know, just how you would work with iron on if it was on fabric. It's the same process. And you know what? I just realized once this was cut out, this looks like an ornament, actually. Doesn't it? So that's kind of fitting, too, that the, the door hole looks like an ornament. Okay, so I think everything's really stuck down. So I am going to be careful and peel back the carrier here. And if anything starts to lift up, I'll just lay it back down and add a little more heat but that was that was really good that was super simple okay so I've got a couple little areas that needed a trim I love this super cheap but think about all the iron-on vinyl that you have you could do something like this for every season or holiday and just change it based on the pattern iron on you have. Okay, so I'm going to, oh, let's go ahead and open these felt. And I guess I can go ahead and turn off my mini press. So it is completely off and it will begin to cool down for storage and for this was it you know a dollar 25 from the Dollar Tree but it comes with a hundred letters and because it's Santa on here you know I'm thinking the traditional ho 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 but you could you know put Mary or be Mary I didn't want to take all of these out but can't find my letters so three O's there and let me try to find the H's okay let's move all those little felt letters to the side and it's got the um, adhesive cover let's kind of play with this I don't know exactly how I want to position them. It kind of seems like that red's clashing a bit and not, you know, standing out as much as I think it should. So kind of something like that. It looks cute. I like it, but now that the red is on top of the red, it's kind of different, which is good, but kind of messes with me a little bit. So let me open up our wooden letters and see if, how this looks. Now that I've looked through all the letters and played with a little bit of um, the wording, I chose joy and I have a position like this. I did, I was playing with it down here as well. Um, I pulled something from last year that I purchased from Hobby Lobby, Mary and Bright and Believe, you know, and I could have put, you know, be Mary or just believe on here. Um, but I'm really liking these letters instead. So just giving you some other options. I also pulled some jute twine, which is from the Dollar Tree. And then I have this twine here. I don't know. I think it would kind of clash if I used the red and white. And also I have bells. Uh, let's see. I believe these smaller ones are from Hobby Lobby and then the Crafter Square is from Dollar Tree. And I think I kind of want this size and I'm not sure if this is going to work, but just kind of taking you along with me and 
what I'm thinking is maybe tying a bow around it and then having some um, bells hang down. I don't know. So change of plans. I looked through more of my ribbon and I have this white chiffon ribbon once again from Hobby Lobby and I also have these two here but the red is just not the right red and I feel like white would be a nice pair. So what I want to do I just um, cut off quite a bit there and I'm going to just tie a bow. And then once I have the bow, you can see one's a lot larger than the other one. You just pull the tails and then you can manipulate the loops and you can kind of make it as big or as small as you want. So something like that. Okay. So before I make that bow permanent, I think we should make the text permanent. So what I want to do is get the placement. I don't want it at the very bottom. I do want to leave a little bit of space there. And I have my hot glue gun. I'm going to start with this, the O because it's in the center. And let's get this glued down. Sorry for the noise in the background. That's Ollie. He's getting into stuff he shouldn't be getting into, mister. Okay. All right, so the joy is permanent. And the font, these little wooden letters, I think it's a playful font and I think it pairs well with the playful Santa Claus vinyl there. So I'm just going to apply a little glue to the knot on the back side and get that placed down. Let me taper off. I'm going to cut a little bit off and then cut it at an angle the best that I can. It's kind of hard to cut the... Yeah, that's a horrible job. Let me get some different scissors and see if I can do that better. Oh, yeah. And it's still crooked. Rats. It cuts smooth, but my cutting is not the best. That's good. All right, let's try this guy again. A little better. Okay, so this is Christmas in July. I hope you found some inspiration from this project. I will link everything that I can down below, including Rachel's channel, Daily Creations. So you can go over there and see what she made for Christmas in July. And if you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe because we've got more content coming. We're also doing a card later on this month. So stay tuned for that. And let me know what you think in the comments down below. I just think this is a really neat concept and you could go in so many different directions with this. So I hope you start looking at patterned vinyl a little differently. And yeah, thanks for so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next craft. Bye everyone. Hey, wait, real quick. So I ended up painting the joy instead of leaving it the natural wood. And I just think it pairs so well together, not only with the white painted um, letters, but with the white chiffon ribbon and also the white details in the pattern iron on. I originally was thinking about doing jute twine and bells. So the natural wood would have went great with that. But since I changed it up, the joy needed to be painted white. So this is the official final door hanger. And yeah, I just wanted to show you that I changed my mind and it's super cute. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.